In this video, I'm gonna explain one of the X file which can be used to measure and evaluate the course learning outcomes as well as the grade distributions for the students. In this file, at the beginning, we have here various icons in which each one has specific information. The first one is the home page. In this page, you're going to have the instructions that you need to follow to fulfill this file. Then, as instructor, you need to fill the course information after pressing on the course information icon. Then you need to put the details of the course information according to the course specification. Here, we have the number of the course learning outcomes and the alignment of the course learning outcomes to their PLOs, which are the program learning outcomes. When you put the number of the course learning outcomes, you need to state it from here after pressing on this cell. Then you need to copy and paste the course learning outcomes from your course specification to uh, each cell here. After that, you need to align it with the program learning outcomes. Then you need to put the grade distribution for each assessment method. For example, here we have the homework as 5% out of the 100% of the total mark for uh, achieving this course. Then when you finish, you need to go to the student list and you need only to copy and paste the student names in this sheet. After that, you will have the detailed marks. Okay, and the good point about this Excel sheet is that the assessment methods here are movable so you can move between the assessment methods very easily while the names are fixed in the first three commas. Also, this number, which is the total of the homework, is generated automatically from the course information that you already stated in the second icon. For example, if you want to change this number, this message will appear. So as we move from one assessment method to another, it's good to uh, fill this sheet from the beginning of the term. Then at the end of the term, you will have the overall result of the students and their grade distribution. A very important point here is that you need to align each question, for example, in your exams to the specific CLO by clicking here. For example, question number one should be aligned to 1.1, question number two aligned to 1.2, and etc. Because by doing this, then you will get the report automatically um, counting the average of students achieving for each CLOs by specifying the questions to the uh, targeted uh, CLOs. Then at the end of the term, you can get the result of the course learning outcomes very easily from pressing on the course report in which you will have the grade distribution of the students and the percentage of a student achievement for the course learning outcomes as well as the overall results of these course learning outcomes. Then you can have the mark summary in which you'll have the grade distribution and student grade, um, uh, grades based on their uh, marks in which the grades automatically fold in this sheet as well as you can get the overall summary of the report for your course.